Hey, Mr. Credit here, host of The Lunch Hour, weekdays at noon on ESPN Radio San Diego, 1700 AM. Today I'm going to talk about the basics. You know, this thing called a credit score is something that we are all judged by, but most of us don't even have any idea what it is that's being judged. I mean, how fair is that to be judged by something and not even know what it is? Today, we are going to fix that. I'm going to tell you exactly what makes up your credit score. You know, a lot of people tell me when I first meet them that they have great credit because they've never missed a payment before in their life. And while that's fantastic, they're always shocked to find out that their payment history only makes up 35% of the credit score. And the truth is, there's 65% other stuff that we not only need to be knowledgeable of, but we need to be taking action on if we're going to maximize our credit score. For example, your debt ratio, or the balance on your credit cards with respect to what the limits are, is a whopping 30% of the credit score. That's almost as much as your payment history. The balance on your credit cards with respect to the credit limits affects your credit score almost as much as your payment history does. That's a big takeaway. That's why it's so important to manage the balances on your credit cards and make sure, if you can, that your balances are below 50% of the limits hopefully below 30% or zero, ideally, but you want to keep them below 50% to keep the score higher. Also, the average age of your credit files makes up 15% of the credit score. That's a pretty big chunk considering your payment history is 35%. 15% is based on how long you've had the accounts that you have. This is why closing a credit card account, or any account for that matter, is never going to help your score. It can't you actually want to keep your credit files open for as long as possible even if you're not using them necessarily keep them open let the average age build up so your credit score can go higher over time having a good mix of credit is worth 10 percent to your credit score now ideally you would have a mortgage loan an auto loan and at least three credit cards to have a perfect mix of credit however you can have multiple of each you can have 10 credit cards and 10 mortgage loans if you want as long as those accounts are maintained properly and in good standing, you will still have a good credit score. Where most people miss out here is they think that not having an auto loan is good, paying it off early. They think that not having a credit card is good, and they close them all out. That is wrong. You need to have credit if you want to have a good credit score. Of course, inquiries make up 10% of the credit score as well. And this is a really controversial topic because All of the FICO websites and all of the different things you read online will tell you if you're getting a mortgage, if you're getting an auto loan, you can shop around and it won't hurt your credit score. But let me tell you, I've disproven that on a number of occasions. And here is the simple rule with inquiries. Get as few as you possibly can. But keep in mind, there's no sense in having good credit if you don't use it. So if you want something, if you want to buy something, if you want to get a loan, Don't not get it just because you're trying to avoid the inquiry, but know that you don't want to just run around and get inquiries left and right because that can hurt your credit score significantly. If you like what you hear, please go to facebook.com slash mrcreditradio and like our fan page. You'll get access to all kinds of stuff. You can also go to mrcreditradio.com and listen to the radio show, which I highly recommend if you want to learn the most about how to maximize your credit score. You can also email me directly through mrcreditradio.com. I'm here to help you, and it's absolutely free. I'll answer your individual, personalized questions anytime. mrcreditradio.com. This is Mr. Credit, over and out.